Okay, hey guys, so following my last video, uh, a few of you want to know how to choose and set up the filter for the CRT scanline on the Retro Pi. So yeah, this is basically how to do it. So get to your top menu that you have all your emulators listed on, the little scroll wheel, and go into the configuration menu here, the Retro Pi option. And then what you want to do on, uh, on this page is on the third option down where it says configuration editor. You want to choose that option and then it will take you into the RetroPie setup menu. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in now because it's a bit high red, so it's a bit hard to see. Okay, so once you're in this menu, you want to choose option number one, which is configure basic libretro emulator options. So this is, you're going to be using your keyboard now, so uh, click enter on that one. And then this will give you a list of all the available emulators and uh, you can choose which emulator you want to set your video filter for. So this one, for example, will be Final Burn Alpha for your Neo Geo games. Uh, this one will be for your MAME. Arcade is literally everything that's under, um, that runs MAME, so all the MAME emulators. Uh, that's the folder I have my arcade in, so I'll go into that one. Or otherwise, you can choose the top option, which will allow you to change the default options for all of these listed. So you've got the choice of doing it, you know, separately or for everything. So I'm just going to go into the arcade one. And then uh, two things here. What you want to do is, uh, before you choose your filter, you want to go to number three and choose true. So it'll be set to false by default. So you want to go into this option here, video shader enable, and make sure that's set to true. Uh, it may actually be set to unset, but put it on true, and then it will allow you to, uh, well, it, it will allow the, the video shader to actually work once you choose it. So uh, to choose the actual filter, go into number four, video shader file. And there, here's your list of all the different filters and shaders that you have. And you can see number nine is the one I'm using, CRT Pi Curvature. That's the one that I'm using currently. Um, you've got loads of different filters on here. I'll give you a quick scan of what they are. There's loads for the Super Nintendo. There's a Phosphor one which I tried out, which I didn't think was all that. But loads of ones, I haven't really tried these all to be honest, so I don't know what they're like. I know what this one's like because I've used it on z -Stez before. Um, it's a really nice looking filter for Super Nintendo games. But um, yeah, there's your, there's, your, there's your list of filters. So like I say, the one I'm using is the CRT Pi Curvature. And uh, once you choose that, it'll get listed there as number four. And then you can just press escape. Uh, or use the cancel menu to go back out to your main menu. And that's pretty much it. That's how you choose your filters. So yeah, thanks for watching.